For packing, one of the most important things they're gonna miss is uh, this view over here towards the ocean. It's, uh, it's a view that I'm definitely gonna miss. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is a beautiful house for sure. Absolutely, I can't disagree with that at all. And it's a, it is a very beautiful house and we made it a beautiful home. But one of the things that I, I as, we're, as we're packing away and you seem to seem like there's hardly anything left uh, in the furniture and you start to realize that this is just a house, not a home anymore. And my wife and I were just discussing on how the massive difference between a house and a home. A house is the structure of it, it's a beautiful house, but the home is what you make of it. It's the furniture, the things that you add to it, your element, the uniqueness that makes it a home. And when it comes to your practice or your business, I think this is where I think a lot of people forget is that they forget to make it their own, their uniqueness. Every practice looks exactly similar to the next practice. And there's no just point of distinction between one practice down the street to your practice. And I think that's really important for us chiropractors and business owners to really start to think about is how have you made it your own? How have you made it different? How have you designed it differently? It doesn't have to be this. Of course, the aesthetic, the visual is going to be a, a factor here. But also, too, don't forget about the team. How does the culture fit? How does the team, um, you know, have they spent much time talking about the experience of the clients and the, and the patients that come in? Have you changed languaging? Have you changed the way your systems run? All of these things are unique points of uniqueness. And I think that's where, you know, the difference between a house and a home is the same thing with your practice. And that being business practice or a business is making your own. If you make it a, a make it about your make it something specific, unique to your style, your your how you want to operate. And it could be the colors, it could be the way um, your your like I said, the team creates its experience. It could be, you know, as simple as putting something on the wall that is distinguishedly you. You know, if it was a triathlete, for example, if you're a triathlete, you know, put your bike on the wall. You know, um, if you are a surfer, put a surfboard up there. Like, I know it seems kind of crazy to do that, but at the same, same time, it's what defines you. It's a, it changes you, it changes the feeling when someone walks in and goes, oh, this is different. You know, one of the most important thing when I was in practice is that I never put a picture of a spine in my walls. Why? Because people already know that a chiropractor deals with spine and the nervous system. Well, maybe not the nervous system, but at least the spine. So why do I need to encourage that anymore? I think the most important thing is I put pictures of happy family emotions uh, that define that. And really there's only one picture of a spine and that was when I explained the nervous system chart, but that's it. Everything else was all about the emotion I wanted the people to feel when they walk in to the practice. And I think that should be your pri priority right now is to figure out, look in your practice and go, does this look generic or does it remind you of who you really are? This is a good question to ask. If you don't know that question, well, this is time to ask yourself, who am I?